welcome to another video here at Rick Shaves. So guys, before I get into the video, don't forget to hit that like button, comment down below, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell notification for all future videos. All right, let's go ahead and get into the shave. So, you know, this week is uh, New Year's Eve and uh, New Year's Day, and you know, of course, the New Year's going to come in to play and uh you know i have something that i actually kind of bought myself i played santa claus for myself but this is a great product to just kind of highlight and show uh you know that if you're looking for something for somebody for their birthday or maybe even next year for christmas or an anniversary or uh, father's day or something like that it's a great product for uh the traditional wet shaver and that is the starter kit from Phoenix Arson Accoutrements. So this, it is a little bit of an investment, or a little bit more pricey, so I wouldn't say just buy it for anybody, but somebody who you really want to spend the money on. But it's around, a, it's about $45 for the starter kit. And uh, I think with tax and everything, it came out to about 50 bucks. Now, Phoenix and a lot of these other soap companies are doing like these little installment payments. And I think theirs is through some call Afterpay. So you can pay a little as you go, which is, is pretty good. So, you know, up front, it costs you very little. And then a few weeks later down the road, you pay a little more. And then, you know, you do about four installment payments. So it's, it's actually a pretty good deal. Um, you know, there's no interest on it either. So you're going to pay for what you, you buy, you know, and not have to, like an extra charge or an extra payment or something like that. So here it is in a very nice box. It comes in, it flips up here. As you can see, everything is in there that you need to start shaving. So let's go ahead and go through this real quick. So it does come with a razor. And I believe this is their uh, symmetry. I think that's what it's called. So it, it looks like a very mild shaving razor. Uh, great probably intro shave. Uh, good size and the handle has some good heft to it. Three piece razor comes apart. And I've never used this stuff before, guys. I've never used this razor or these this particular brand, uh, scent of uh, of soap. And I've never used the uh, the brush either. So you get a, a razor. You get a synthetic uh, brush. This is called the Green Ray. Let's see if I can show that there on camera. The Green Ray. And uh, it kind of looks like uh, synthetic horse hair. So that's pretty cool there. You get soap and you get a choice of different types of scents. Uh, I chose uh, Future Fiction and it is their uh, CK6 formula. I'll show you that there. It's a really cool label. You know, they, you know, they always do really really good labels and stuff like that. And this smells pretty good too. Now you don't get a whole lot in there. You get about maybe two ounces where a, a regular size puck, I believe is about four or five or something like that. And this smells really good. It just has a nice clean kind of cologne kind of scent. You know, it's nothing outrageous or anything. It just has a really great scent on there. Okay, there's still more in here, guys. Remember, it's a starter kit. So you get a little aftershave, matching aftershave with it. And uh, let's see here. This does have alcohol in it. And uh, it's got a bunch of other stuff like aloe vera and glycerin and all this other kind of nice stuff that Phoenix puts in their aftershaves. And you get a couple five packs of razors to try and try out different ones, you know, so they kind of give you a, a, a starter, uh, you know, razor pack here. Now, I definitely would recommend buying a sampler pack if if you are um, going to be starting or, you you know, you're looking at doing this kind of shaving, you want to buy this. They do send you some, but these might not work for you. I'll use this one today, the Voshkod. I think that's how you say it, Voshkod or something like that. I use that one. I've used it before. Uh, I've used the Shark uh super stainless blades i don't think i really liked them in the past but 
I mean, it's a, I mean, look, this is a nice box it comes in, you know, for about $45, about 50 with tax and everything. Uh, it's really not that bad of a deal. And, uh, you know, this razor, you take care of it, it's going to last you a really long time. All these, you know, the, the two main products that will last you a really long time are the razor and the brush. You know, because the soaps, of course, you'll run out of those, the aftershave you'll run out of, the blades you'll run out of. But I think for a decent starter pack from a company that makes really good soap products and stuff like that, I've never used, I've used one of their razors. I've used the Dock razor. That's that dual open comb razor that they have. Works fantastic. I love it. Used to use it on my head before I switched over to the Leaf. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get into the shave. Enough talking. Let's get to shaving, right? All right. Let me see here. They put these child poof wrappers on here. <laughs> okay. We're going to get one of these out here. And I've used these before. And I actually really liked them in the past. We'll see how it works now. Three-piece razor, like I said. It feels really good, uh, really uh, nicely constructed. You know, everything is here for you to just start shaving. I mean, you got some blades, you got your brush, your razor, your soap, your aftershave. So, I mean, for 45 bucks, if you're looking for something, uh, hey, hell, even for yourself. Like, you know, I, uh, I, want, I saw this and I was like, hey, that looks like a pretty good deal. I want to try it out. I've never tried this razor from them before. I believe this is their, I want to, call it, I want to say it's called their Symmetry razor. Okay, so it looks very mild, very similar to like a, maybe an Edwin Jagger or something like that. You know, that kind of, uh, kind of shaped head or the uh, R89, the Mula R89, kind of like that. That's kind of what I'm getting here. Um, let's see here. Make sure that looks right. That looks right there. Doesn't look uh, super aggressive or anything. It's got uh, some overhang. So you got to be mindful of that. But that's usually typical in a lot of three-piece uh, razors. And the soap, again, I just it, it has a really good scent to it. If I can find the so uh, the scent notes and stuff like that, I'll put them in the description or or maybe list them across here somewhere, you know. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, get into the shave. I already did my pre-shave routine, wet the face. I mean, uh, took a shower and I'm going to re-wet my face. And I have about, oh God, maybe about almost uh, five days, four, four, five days. Somewhere in there. So, beard prep is very important if you are going to start wet shaving. Again, kind of got this for myself. <laughs> A little early Christmas present. Hmm? But I want to show it to you afterwards. Now you could do this two ways. You scrape some out, put it in a bowl, or you can just lather it straight from the puck here. That's what I'm doing. See how this works. I've never... Oh, man, that smells good. I like it. Other than, I think, one of their soaps, I didn't like the, uh, the scent. And, uh... I think it was one called like Bad Lambs or something like that. I didn't care for it. And there was one from their Crown King line way back in the day when they had that Crown King line. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Um, Sakura Boo, I think that's what it was called. Smelt like baby wipes. Straight up baby wipes. And I think it was supposed to smell like the uh, Aqua Velva Ice Blue. 
but it was super powdery. Maybe it was just my batch, I don't know. A little water. Brush is doing an excellent job, very soft. A uh, little floppy, not too bad though. It's not as bad as the uh, the West Coast shaving one, I have that blue one. And it's just doing a great job though. I mean, look at that lather within minutes. Again, I like mine a little wetter. It's your, it's your soap though, you decide. I gotta do a head shave tonight too. So, kind of big news, good news. My little sister, who's just turned 27, is getting married tomorrow. Hence why I gotta get all ready for this. I gotta shave and all that too, so. But yeah, congratulations to her and her husband, or future husband, you know. Seems like a really good guy. So, I'm happy for her. All right, let's try this razor out, see how it works. Again, really nicely constructed. That knurling on there feels real good. My hand's wet, and it is not slipping at all in, in here. Washcod blades. Always been pretty uh, mild shaving for me. Um, they're very smooth. I wouldn't say they're like super sh sharp feeling, but they they are very smooth. So I used to like put them in more aggressive razors or if I was gonna, if like a razor was on the more medium aggressive side or just aggressive, I used to put them in that. And it would uh, kind of balance it out a little bit Again, guys, this is why a, a blade sampler pack is good uh, to buy. You know, even though this one comes with a couple different blades, you know, buy one on top of it too. They're not super expensive either. This is doing an excellent job. Pretty mild. Probably very similar to uh, an R89 or Edwin Jagger kind of on that. Or maybe like a Mercur 34C kind of on that uh, aggression scale. So pretty middle of the road. Doing an excellent job, man. Look, I had... See, that's the thing. A cartridge razor with that much hair I had was going to get clogged and would get dull really fast. This... It's mowing through it like nothing. Look at that. Really, really liking this razor, guys. Um, good weight. You know, great knurling. Uh, feels good in the hand, too. So, really impressed. Uh... For $45, I know that sounds like, you know, kind of a big investment, but let's let's look at this. A Mercur 34C, which I think is one of the best razors on the market, is $40 on Amazon. You get a whole kit here for essentially about $10 more. So, again, that's just the Mercur razor. So... Something like this is actually a pretty good, pretty good value. Especially. Since the prices of this stuff has gone up on Amazon, you know, uh, when I bought the Mercur 34, I think I got on sale. It was like right under $30. Now it's like 40, so it might just go up, guys, because, you know, this has become a more popular thing now. 
A lot of guys are kind of going back to this way of shaving. Wow, excellent job. I mean, that took off all that hair. I had about four, maybe almost five days worth of growth there. Took it right off, no problems. Okay, let's re-wet pass number two. All right, here we go back to the brush. Great scent on this soap. This was a good one. It's it's uh, kind of just a standard, you know, kind of clean cologne kind of scent to it. It's not, you know, it's they're not trying to get cute with it and put other kinds of stuff in there. It just just has a really nice kind of standard scent, and uh, I appreciate that. Okay. Again, we're going to do, you know, keep going this way with it. Doing a really good job. Got under the mustache pretty well while it's coming in here. Yeah, I kind of do that little hook. It's definitely a more sensitive pass for me. Wow, wow, yeah, I have to say, really impressed with this razor. Again, I I have one of their other ones. It's a, obviously an older one, but wow. Neck area, doing pretty good. Wow, very smooth, very smooth. This blade is, is it's actually reasonably sharp. Um, Again, it's it's more on the mild side of, of sharp. You know, it's not it doesn't feel as sharp as like my Astra Superior Platinum do, but it, it is up there, you know, but again, like I said, I like to use in a more more aggressive razors to try and kind of mellow it out. Try and equalize it a little bit so it's not as harsh. All right, pass number three, let's get to it. I know this video is probably gonna be a little longer too. You know, I'm trying to get them under 30, guys. Maybe I just shut my mouth up and stop talking. <laughs> and just shave. So still looking good. Still got enough there for a head pat or do a head shave. So if need be, I'll just retouch the soap puck when I'm doing it again. 
Okay, number three. Let's go cross grain this way. Great slickness on the soap. Good. You know, the soap is going to perform good. I, I know it is. Uh, I own quite a few Phoenix products. They all work great. You just got to pick a scent that you, that you actually like. Really nice, really, really nice here on the uh, this third pass. That's a real sensitive area here, around here for me, and lots of guys too, so. Do a little clean up there. Nice and smooth though, feels really good. Really good. Switch hands. Such a well-balanced razor, guys. I'm just letting it do the work uh, itself. Just doing a quick cleanup or kind of against the grain kind of pass here. Really good, really good. I mean, for, you know, not being able to get too close there on the neck, it's pretty good. Yeah, man, I just let this razor do the work, guys. I don't got a push or anything, no pressure whatsoever. Good slickness. Kind of go back over some of those places. Oh yeah, that feels really good under the neck. Really smooth. Okay, I'm done. Three passes done. Cold water rinse.
Really good. Ooh, that was a lot of hair. <laughs> nice. It's dry off. Doesn't look like I nicked myself or anything. Doesn't look like I ain't irritation either. Hopefully not. <clears throat> Again, guys, this isn't a uh, a very aggressive razor, but look how it just took off all that hair, like almost a week's worth of hair gone. I like to see a cartridge do that without getting clogged and having to be rinsed out repeatedly. So, <laughs> all right, guys, here it is. Three pass shave. Pretty, really nice, very presentable, very close feeling. Skin doesn't feel dried out or anything like that. Still, I can actually still smell that. Uh, so, all right. Future Fiction aftershave and cologne. Remember, they, a lot of times their aftershaves can be used as colognes as well. It's got a nice uh, little stopper up there. Oh, man. That is nice. That is a nice scented aftershave and cologne. Wow. Wow. It smells very familiar. Golly, it, it smells like a very, like a, a name brand cologne. Okay, so I'll have to look it up and see which one it is. But, and I know I've used this before. It, it smells great. This is an awesome scent. It's kind of more a little bit on the sweeter end. Uh, of colognes, but it smells really good. Oh, wow, nice, very nice. So impressed. Yeah, you know, yes, it is a starter kit, so you're not going to get a full size tub of soap, you're not going to get a full size aftershave, but just, just to get you started, the real main important components here are going to be the razor and the brush. So let's go ahead and review and see what we, you know, what we got in the starter kit here, okay? And I'll actually show you this tub. So this is about two ounces, which isn't bad. Um, you know, this will last you for a little bit at least. And uh, again, it is the Future Fiction from Phoenix. And it's the starter kit edition. Really nice scented. So the the aftershave really the you can really smell those that cologne kind of scent in the aftershave. That's just awesome. Okay, so you get that. You get the sample soap, which is about two ounces. You get the matching aftershave, which is probably about an ounce or maybe two somewhere in there. And uh, of course. The main thing is, is you're going to get the, uh, I believe it's Symmetry razor. Very mild shaving razor, performed absolutely fantastic. Great daily shaver, could be a daily shaver for anybody. Um, pretty mild, you know, this, this is, uh, this is really a, a very impressive razor. I've come to find out, um, you know, very similar to a Mercur or a, like the Edwin Jagger R89, a Mueller R89, kind of that, and that level of mildness, you know. And it just, I mean, it mowed through all that hair. Very good. You get uh, 10 blades, okay? You get five of each of a, and they might not be these particular blades, you know, it might be a different brand, might be a Gillette, might be a, a shark and something else or whatever, but you're gonna get 10 blades to try out. Again, get a sampler pack that has a bunch of them. That way you can find out what works good for you and then what works good in this razor. 
So for me, that Washcod and, and this riser perform absolutely great. <clears throat> and you get the Green Ray synthetic brush. It looks like a kind of horsehair looking brush, that green and yellow handle. It's pretty awesome. I mean, I like it. It's pretty awesome. Kind of, they got kind of this space, spacey thing going on there at Phoenix. But um, did I leave anything out? Because there was so much. No, I didn't. That is it, guys. That's what comes in the kit. About $45, about $50 with tax and all that. And I think after a certain amount, you get free shipping anyway. So you have to check their site. It's not, I don't think it's always available, but. You know, again, I'll link their site in the description below. Check it out yourselves. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I will have a New Year's Eve shave or New Year's Day shave, one of the two. So look forward to that. And the way you can look forward to that is by liking the video, commenting down below, uh, subscribing to the channel, and hit that bell notification to get alerted to those types of videos if you're interested in seeing them. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you on the next one. Take care.